In this video, we're gonna go over our swing and turn progressions that we use at Apex Vaulting. We're gonna go over the four phases that we see off the ground, takeoff, swing, turn, and push off, and the four drills that go along with each of those skills. Let's start off with the takeoff. This is our simple one left drill. Uh, we do a nice long short jump into the pit. What we really look for is I want to see that the hands go above the head once the pull tip hits the back of the box. And here you can see the athlete doing that. With the hands above the head, that gives the athlete leverage to pull themselves up and forward and move the pull better. You wanna make sure also to make the athlete aware of the pull speed, how they generate it, and how to get their center of mass to rise. Now onto the second drill, swing to a sit. So now the athletes have learned how to complete a takeoff, get their hands above their head. Now they're gonna use their bottom arm and try to pull their hips forward in an optimal swing position, and they're gonna land chest forward. Here's a picture of our logo, and you can see this is the end of the swing phase. Now you can see on the image to the right, we rotated our logo so it looks like someone doing swing to a sit into the pit. If you can get athletes to land like this for their swing drills, they're set up for the rest of the jump because their right arm is in position to pull and engage the turn. Something I also wanna add is there's a big misconception in pole vault when people see arms that are straight and arms that are bent. Just because an arm is straight doesn't mean that the athlete is pushing. The best analogy I can give you is our grocery bag analogy that we use at the club. When you're carrying a bag of groceries, your arms are straight, but you're certainly not pushing on the grocery bag. You're holding. And when we coach the swing, we try to explain to the athletes that their top arm is straight, but it's in a holding position. From that holding position, you could smoothly transition into the pull turn where you bend both elbows and go through the turn which leads to our next drill, swing to the chin. So now, once the athlete has finished their swing to a sit, they can feel their hip has gotten to their bottom hand. That's when they bend both elbows and pull the chin to their bottom hand and the belly button to their top hand. The next drill is swing to the belly. This is where the athletes will continue to pull through the turn, get their shoulder, their top uh, arm shoulder past their top hand, and then they push off and land on their belly, just like in the video here. How do you bridge the gap between horizontal drills and full jumps? Well, at Apex Vaulting, we do something called Jump the River. Jump the River is a little bit more challenging uh, strength-wise than horizontal drills, but still easier than full jumps. We have a couple examples of Jump the River, and you can see that what we do is we hold a bungee, or you can set it up sometimes with hurdles and stubbies, but you put a bungee that's deep into the pit, and the athlete's goal is to swing up slightly, turn, and then land on their feet. In this slow motion, you can see a great example of how the athlete's pulling their hips up to their left hand, then they do the chin belly button part, where they pull their chin to their, their top hand, turn, get their shoulder past their top hand, and then push off. And finally, when athletes have shown that they can demonstrate all four phases in the jump the river drill, we move on to full jumps. This athlete here shows us the full jump from a one with overhead carry, and you can see how he demonstrates all four phases. Take off, the hands get above the head, he has leverage to pull swing, he gets his hip to his bottom hand, then he moves on to the chin, starts to turn, gets his top shoulder, his right shoulder past his top hand, and then pushes off. Awesome. So to summarize, we have four drills for the four phases. We have takeoff, swing to a sit, getting that hip to the bottom hand, swing to the chin, getting our chin to the bottom hand, and then we work on the turn and push off with swing to the belly. Then we transition to jump the river, and finally, full jumps. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe and leave a comment below. And you can always email us at apexvaulting at gmail.com.